My name is Sabine Möps. I'm a professor here at DHBW Heidenheim in uh, Business Information Systems and I'm also the lecturer of the module of today's workshop. I'm leader of the exact for you workshop and the project manager. exact for you started because we were looking for means to bring uh, students and staff from our new African partners uh, together with DHBW Heidenheim. So um, we found Baden-Württemberg Stiftung had a program where we could apply for funding. We did and we were successful. Um, it was a pilot or it is the end of this pilot. We are trying the short format that would allow to bring a lot of people together um, with a limited amount of money rather than only allowing for three months days which of course limits the number of participants. My name is Elvira Hwatenge. I am from Kenya but currently studying at the Nelson Mandela African Institution of Science and Technology in Arusha, Tanzania. We are attending a workshop called Exact for You. Its uh, theme this year is interdisciplinary communication on sustainability and so this is an exchange program among students from like six universities and we've all worked on different projects so that has happened progressively online and also physically for the past two weeks. My name is Svenja Scherer and I study at DHBW Heidenheim. I was really happy that we got the chance to actually meet in person um, even though of course we had some challenges due to Covid um, we still managed and um, of course meeting online it's always nice to exchange but really having this time together here with also some social activities uh, we were really able to enjoy the whole project and really ex have that intercultural exchange. My name is Brigitte Ilk. I am the director of the international office at uh, this university. Well, I've been part of the Exact for You project right from the beginning in 2018, and we had the first workshop uh, then in uh, February, which was a special uh, experience, of course, for the African students. Uh, we had snow and it was freezing cold. But uh, this one is by far really the most advanced uh, workshop, not only from the number of students uh, participating, but also from, from the topic and from the presentations and from the result. So the next workshop, um, which was in August in Arusha, was in high performance computing and then we moved on the next spring to University of Venda, um, where we were looking into water and solar power and medical infrastructures in rural areas. So uh, we moved on to the last one pre-corona, with Food to Africa, a small NGO in Moshi, where we combined the Exact for You workshop with the summer school and uh, Food to Africa is organizing. And then we had to evacuate everyone very quickly because the lockdown came. So that was a very traumatic end of this last workshop. Then we were supposed to have in summer 2020 the final event. Of course, that is, was not happening. We then got an extension into 2021 where we said, okay, we still can't have it. We had an online bar camp on the future of work, Corona and sustainability, which was a big success, um, but of course just online. So um, Baden-Württemberg Stiftung said, yes, we can extend another year. So here we are. Now we are talking about sustainability communication, topic of climate change, and that theme brought a lot of very interesting projects. My name is Babatunde Ojelade. I'm from Nigeria, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Venda studying environmental science. In our group we talked about the um, sustainable communication of energy production. In, uh, we are comparing that of e uh, ENBW in Germany and that of ESCOM in South Africa. My name is Jessica Schröder. I study international business in my sixth semester at DHBW. Uh, we were working on the Lisa Bike communication campaign. So we're um, for the sustainable transport by bike and we want to transport that communication campaign to Arusha in Tanzania. Yeah, my name is Dr. Michael Emanuel Haule. When they were presenting, it was really amazing. It was as if they were all from one university. They were agreeing in every terms, in every categories, in every ideas, so that uh, to, to make the, 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 the better conclusion of their project. And uh, in fact, I was also uh, very much amazed the way they chose their pro the, the, the titles of their project. It was very uh, contemporary and also very real. Hi, my name is Lennart. The preparations were, I'd say, quite active. 
Um, we worked, especially during the one week on campus. Um, every, we met every day and talked through the different um, aspects of our topic and uh, the different individual contributions that together make our team effort and team result. I think the German night and the African night were real good events for the intercultural topic. Uh, you know that I did the cultural intelligence workshop and I tried to uh, give some information on, on the German culture, how we Germans tick, as we say. But I think there's no better way to learn about a culture when you meet people your age, when you uh, celebrate together, when you cook together, when you eat together, when you share music and all that. I personally, I, I love cooking and I think uh, food is an amazing way to connect cultures um, and also an amazing way to just represent cultures so I personally really enjoyed the African night, it was, the food was amazing and um, even the students were really considerate of like dietary preferences and we had some vegetarian or vegan students and uh, so there were lots of different options and also the music was amazing. For me it was very interesting to also see how carefully every group explored each other's culinary offerings and uh, the dress and the music but especially in these nights I think we also saw the commonalities. Right? My name is Shegu Obadire, I'm the Acting Director of International Relations at the University of Venda, South Africa. So I believe uh, the program has uh, really you know, assisted the student in terms of intercultural exchange, uh, experience, exposure to uh, international integration and uh, being able also to make friends and network you know, among the students is really very great and that is why we believe that uh, the impact from this particular exact for you program has been so uh, great. I'm Dr. Abdallah Saleh Posi, the Ambassador of the United Republic of Tanzania to Germany. Well, I came here open-minded, uh, but thrilled with the whole idea of uh, university corporations and if I can call it uh, students exchange. This is very important way of sharing knowledge and, and, and experiences and the times at technologies. All those presentations were really well. Of course, this is in re their recognition for their good results of their concept, Water for All, All for Water. For that matter, they are being awarded a certificate and they think I have the... I'm, I'm really uh, very happy as the ambassador of the United Republic of Tanzania. Our embassy would always encourage uh, such programs and, uh, and partnerships. I'm very happy that everything went well during this workshop, that um, we had wonderful presentations and I look forward to meeting a lot of you again here in Heidenheim in, in whatever function or whatever uh, position.